Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Daya. I'm your travel nurse as well as your diabetes advocate. I'm here in the Alabama for, for a job and today is Tuesday and it's my day off and day off means YouTube time. Thank you for dropping by and thank you for watching my my, my videos. Um, I have two um, web uh, channel which is ATD which, which I talk about most of, of uh, about health and um, uh, basic tips about um, uh, diabetes and, and also first aid and um, some of my um, antics like my singing and my dancing and what well, normal normal me so uh, my other my other channel is about travel it's plainly about travel and also tips about travels and at the moment as, as i said i'm, I'm in a, I'm the Isle of Man, and um in june i will be in monaco and uh, i will share to you the the fabulous the fabulous places that i'm going to visit when in june Anyway, we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about um, stroke. Okay, so I'm not on, on ATD uh, channel, I talk about that I, I am a stroke. I'm not like a, like a, they call it like a stroke nurse nurse, because if you are called a stroke nurse, means you specialize in that, in that um, uh, uh, kind of um, uh, medicine you know what I mean so so basically I call myself a stroke nurse because ever since I started I always look after patients who have stroke um, I did not study um, um, specifically about stroke however I have good knowledge in nursing patients with stroke and have a good understanding with it and um, to be honest with you, um, I've been asked by my followers in Atadi on Facebook um, about um, how to look after um, their family who experience stroke. And as you know that um, stroke is really, really hard, especially if they affected uh, very young um, uh, stroke patients and, and especially pug, um, you have a, a, a working age kind of uh, person who suffered from stroke and obviously stroke can can bring you give you depression um, I'm not gonna talk about depression and stroke I'm gonna talk about um, the the swallow disability that the swallow the swallowing issue in stroke because there's a lot of people asking me they why why they are coughing when, when I give him some some food or some some um, drinks um, as you know or I, I don't know if you know but when alam niyo ba yung ano yung uh, pag um, I have sorry guys I have to say in, in Tagalog um, alam niyo ba nung when you are feeding somebody and then biglang nag cough they become like they they cough or oh, 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 something like that so meaning this if they when they had a stroke they might have problems sa swallow nila kaya uh, unfortunately, in the Philippines, we don't really have the speech and language uh, therapist because the reason why I said that is my father and my mother, but the one who's affected her, her swallow, his swallow was very, very much affected with stroke is my father. And, and, and I realized that, um, you know, sa Pilipinas, in the Philippines, we don't really have that kind of support. Every, uh, like, uh, uh, stroke, like, um, uh, physiotherapies, um, occupational therapies, and, and salt, like, um, speech and language therapies, and all that kind of people, which is we have in the UK for free, in the Philippines, we don't really have that for free. And what I'm trying to do in this video is I want, God, I want to share what are the basic things that you need to know um, so that you can prevent your family to develop aspirate pneumonia. Um, so, I, if you experience when you, when you're feeding your father, for for example, for your family, right? When you, I'm just gonna use this one as a sample, all right? So, when you feed, never feed. For example, this is a human being, right? When you feed somebody, you must not lay them like this because obviously they will choke. Yeah, especially if they have, um, even if you don't have a disability with your, with um, a swallow, you will, you will choke, right? You will choke. So, and when you, when, once that you have a family, like in, in the Philippines, we don't have the, the, the bed that you can, you can move it like that. Yeah. 
in the UK you can move oh, hold on I just need to do that um, in the UK we have a bed that can move like this like the, you can make the, the bed like this right so um, in the Philippines we don't have that we have a bed that will go like this like that but we don't have a bed that will do like this which is very very important yeah so when you feed your our family okay we will see this is the bed this is the head part okay when we feed our family, especially people who had just had a stroke, and um, try to check if they have... See, in the UK, you there will be specialists to say, oh, um, your father will have a level one thickener or level two thickener. Or to be honest, in the Philippines, we don't have that. We don't have that kind of thing. I'm, 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 I'm not sure of other um, people, right? And other areas in the Philippines, they might have that. But as, as far as my family experience who had multiple, like people who have uh, multiple stroke in our family and my friends, um, they never have the type of advice for free. So what I'm trying to say is we have to do it ourselves. Yan ang problema sa Philippines. In the Philippines, we have to do it all ourselves. So we just tend to um, go to social media, which is really, really good. Um, uh, but hindi lahat ng mga nasa social media, not all in one in social media, um, can be understood sometimes. And not everybody sa atin, not everybody in the Philippines who have access in YouTube dahil because they don't really have internet. Wala silang internet connection. Kasi it is expensive in the Philippines. Mahal talaga sa Philippines ang, ang um, internet. So what I'm trying to say is, if you watch this video and then you think that um, fr friends of yours or, or family of yours has and meron silang family who has stroke, please um, try to share. Okay, so ito. So when you have family, kung meron kayong pamilya who had stroke, and then you are not sure. Kung, kung grabe, if, if the stroke affected the person's swallow, um, you, have to, you have to observe the way they swallow. Obsebahan nyo ha kung anong, anong, paano ang tao nag-swallow. Nag and also, um, obviously those people, yung mga tao na who have a um, problem with swallowing, um, they also have um, uh, medications to, to, to take, di ba? Meron silang mga medication to take. So, what you have to do is that make sure, siguraduhin nyo, that the body of the person will be a little bit either 40, 40 degrees angle. Kasi at least when 40 degrees, when you swallow, at least, um, at least uh, hindi siya parang, di ba? Hindi parang nandito lang. Uh, tandaan nyo na ang ating, yun, did, um, try to, to remember that our body, our, this part is one, and then this, this part then maganyan. So this part will go, this is one tube, and then it goes like that, and then that way. Yeah? So yung ganyan na ano, yung part na ganyan, yun ang sa lungs. There are the, the, the tubes sa lungs. So, when you when you feed somebody and have problem with swallowing, pag pag meron kayong pina pinakain or pinainom na may uh, problema sa swallow, they either the the food the food either go to the lungs or go straight to your stomach. No, so so try to elevate it at least. Yung experiment yung nga, yung tubo maganyan kayo. So if you have if you have to this is like the the pipe right the pipe of our so if you have if you have tubo i have to do like this i have to, to draw it yeah so so if you if you have that so the yung pagkain the food will come here right if you're lying down the food might go there yeah or the or or luckily if the food is go like um it, if they swallow well and then um, the food might go straight to your stomach. But what if, if the person have problem swallowing and have problem in this area, and then my, diba, if, if you have a stroke, like um, some of them have problem in the right or left, diba? so it depends if your stroke is on the, if, if affected brain is on the right 
the, the, the affected uh, physical uh, this, the dysfunction will be on the on the left sorry on the left so pag hindi natin malaman yan hindi natin alam kung anong nangyayari sa katawan natin kasi hindi natin alam na yung sa yung ano pala yung pagkain pala pumunta doon sa area na may disability ka na hindi mo laman I mean, ma, you, you will just realize na maganan ka oh, oh, oh. Yeah? so make sure the lesson of the story is that when you when you're feeding somebody pag meron kayong pinapakain or pinapainom or anything like that try to to elevate ganyan parang 40 degrees put loads of pillows or or ipa ano mo sa pader and then and then loads of pillows and make sure you do that so that you avoid aspirate pneumonia and also if you think that their swallow become become so hard like parang iba na talaga yun. hindi ba hindi na you that the thing na hindi na tumutunog yung di ba dapat dapat pag nagswallow tayo na, ma, ma ano natin yung makita natin doon yung mga tao if those people who cannot swallow properly they will like this so it it they gives a lot of effort so when they do that make sure you share it to everybody who look after that patient or that that person or that relative because unknowingly because we don't have much money naman tayo maraming education about it because mahal natin yung tao because we love the person we just feed because we thought that it's okay but sometimes yung a little bit of cough might also be a sign that some some food or drink get into the lungs and that's the reason why Many of our our uh, family in the Philippines, alam niyo na yung nasa Pilipinas na we don't have money to to consult anybody. Um, just w w just wondered why why bucket bucket my my mom or my dad or my my brother my sister who had stroke and suddenly had an aspirate pneumonia. Bakit nagkamon pneumonia sila? It may be because when they swallow. My, the food might get into the lungs and that's the reason why aside from obviously you will get um, pneumonia from other sources but if we can abide, uh, avoid aspirate pneumonia by just checking the way we feed and the way we f we um, observe our family if they if we observe that um, they have struggle they struggle with um, their swallowing maybe we need to change our uh, technique maybe we need to change the texture the texture so if they have hard swallowing try to to soften the food and try to make lugaw or something like that and make sure that all our family who had stroke um, promote drinking water para hindi and then make sure that they they take their medication on time as well lalo na if they are prescribed aspirin or copedogrel because it will help the, the thinning the blood and also make sure that the blood pressure are also maintained so that there will be no lo no no repeat um stroke okay sana i hope you learn about this so the point is make sure you elevate at least 40 degrees angle when you feed and also try to to listen the way the person um, swallow and also listen the cough if you hear a cough then stop feeding and then maybe change the textures and then maybe they said like oh how can i give um too big na hindi siya you, you, you make it thicker um, I've I've observed here um, cornstarch or or ano ba yung lato lato ba yun yung 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 rice uh, gluten rice na ano um, try to do that I'm, like cornstarch I don't know how how it um, cornstarch is quite good as well so just just like try to experiment like how how thick and then do it slowly Bef before before instead of like giving them the whole glass and all that and don't make them use um, a straw 
because although it's easier for them but we don't know that that person might have a silence a silent aspirate pneumonia because when you have a when you let a person drink by via straw the, the the pressure is quite fast at least when you use a cup an open cup no spout hindi yung parang bigger ng bata don't use that because we don't know that that person might have the, the proper control because her mouth is half of her her mouth cannot or his mouth cannot feel so better to have an open cup and then give it slowly if possible maybe kocharahin use the, the spoon to give huh sana po you learned something about it i'm sorry guys to all my um fb uh, facebook followers that um i promised that i will do this but it took me a long time to do it but ho hopefully you learned something about it and sana is share nyo rin hope you share this uh, videos video to help other people um take good care and mabuhay